Oh, it didn't show anyway. There we go. Okay. So uh, I just wasted 10 minutes of my life recording a video just so it can stop recording on my phone. It's because I don't have room on my phone and need to clean it off. Um, I'm not going to do any of the same things that I did in that video because that would take 10 minutes. Um, I am sitting here and I decided to do my video because I hadn't done one in a couple of days. And um, I was literally just sitting here and going through all of my multiple bottles of vitamins that I've been taking. Um, but I'm not going to do that now because... Just upload the old one. I guess I could just upload the old one as well. Anyway, I'm here now. Um, hello. Um, but can I see that? Because I didn't want to show that. We did a thing today, which is really cute. It was my husband's idea. We were at the store. We decided to get the things needed to have our very own jar of gumballs. Um, but we can't eat the pink ones because that's Ella's favorite. Um, so I thought that was pretty cute. It's from our series. Um, so it's just like kind of almost like a decor decoration thing that we'll just kind of keep around. So that's pretty cool. I like that. It's the simple things. We're very simple people. Um, so anyway, I had an interesting day today. Um, my husband had a interview to go to this morning. So he left the house pretty early, about 7.30 a.m. And I felt so lazy staying in bed and going back to sleep. So lazy. Um, and I woke up and like 20 minutes after I woke up, he came home and um we talked for a bit um we needed to go out today to get some groceries but i wanted to clean up the house first um so i did that and after i got done cleaning um i actually ended up being on the phone with an old friend um for a few hours today and um it was actually really nice um it was nice being able to catch up. I'm not a phone person. I don't really like talking on the phone, but there are some people where I will talk on the phone. Um, so that was really nice being able to catch up. Um, what else is going on with Asia? I, um, I've been trying to work on mental clarity, if you will. I tend to overcomplicate things and I am notorious for allowing whatever situation I'm in to define me at that moment. So if let's say, let's say I'm in some random unfortunate situation um, and there's nothing that I can do about it or I've done everything that I can, I'll either dwell on the situation itself or allow myself to feel badly about the situation. And um, both of those things aren't good. And I, today, um, have been working on that, working on um, just maintaining peace and Zen. Um, and it's weird because I actually didn't do yoga today or yesterday. Oh. And the reason I didn't do it yesterday is because I decided that I was going to take a break. Um, I wanted to break um, and just hang out with my husband. We had some olam and we relaxed and it was really nice. Um, and today I didn't do yoga because after cleaning and then grocery shopping and my phone call, um, we just kind of hung out as a family, watched some stuff and ate dinner and time just, time just lost me and I looked up and it was 10 30 and I hadn't done yoga and I was like that's okay um because I'm not going to stress about not doing yoga um because me not doing yoga one day doesn't mean that suddenly I'm off the journey and I had done it consistently every day for like eight or nine days straight um so it's not a big deal tomorrow morning I'll get up and I'll continue my routine um so just little things like that, like I am known to stress about stuff like that, even though it's not a big deal at all. Like, oh, I didn't drink all my water. I've been trying to get down like 10 of these like mason jar glasses of water every day. And that hasn't been a thing yet. I have not done that. Um, but I've gotten down a few a day and um, just 
baby steps. It's I'm learning it's okay to have goals. Um, it's okay to push yourself, um, but also enjoy the journey, you know, um, baby steps, taking it easy. You know, I'm, I'm just learning. I'm trying to, I'm not trying. I am just just easing into everything, you know, not putting so much stress on myself, not letting things stress me out, get to me, not dwelling on negative things, positive vibes, zen, peace, serenity, all of those lovely things. And, you know, just, just work on my mental health. Um, how can I be a mental health doctor if I'm not working on my own mental health? Like I should be my first patient, right? Um, I find that I'm always so worried about taking care of everyone else. Sometimes I forget to take about, or take about, take care of Asia. Um, and even ask Asia, like, what is it that you need? You know, sometimes I don't sit and think about what I might actually need, not things that I need to buy, not things that I need to like do physically, not cleaning the house or doing schoolwork, but what does Asia need mentally? Um, how can I work on myself? Um, so just that, you know, I've been just working on that. Um, I was greatly inspired by my husband who is wrapping up season 11 of Elite Force. And um, for his birthday this year, I did write him a few chapters and he seemed to enjoy them. And... Uh, it was a lot of pressure because I was like, oh, it has to fit. Um, continuity is very important. It has to make sense. It has to be good. And it was so much pressure because I just wanted it to be perfect for him. And um, I was inspired recently to pick up writing again. And at first it was like pressure, like, oh, it's got to be good. It's got to be this and that. And I feel like I have an entire crew waiting for um, some sort of work from me. And... I had to remember why I was inspired and the reason why I even wanted to pick up writing again. Um, I needed an outlet. I, I need an outlet. I need something where I'm able to express myself. I love yoga. I love meditating. And those are great things for me to do. Um, but I also wanted something where I was able to express myself um, to others as well, people who were actually interested in reading it, even if it was just my husband. And not that I can't talk to my husband, but just a, a different form of expressing myself in art, if you will. And so I've been slowly working on that. I don't have a lot so far. I have like less than two paragraphs, but um, that's really a matter of me sitting down and really getting in there and writing. So um, that's that's where I am. I am just in a place now where... I'm just chill, you know, and I want to stay that way and make sure my honey stays that way. Um, he's been pretty good about just being nonchalant and pretty cool, you know, but I want to make sure and I know that he's notorious for keeping things from me if he thinks I'm going to worry about it. And when I say keeping things from me, I mean keeping from me that he's worrying about something. But I think he's been good. At least that's the impression that I get. If not, then he's just a really good liar. Yes. Um, yes to what? Which one? I'm a really good liar. Watch. I love you. That you was me. He didn't work. He just made me sad. Oh, because you lied. No, but that would make you a bad liar. <laughs> oh, I failed. Anyway, um, yeah. So that's where I am. I'm going to... Uh, go drink my water and take all my vitamins that I was supposed to take this morning but got distracted and um, twist up my hair and wash my face and moisturize, brush my teeth, cuddle my husband and see what the night brings. So yeah, and I'll be back tomorrow. Liar. I will be back tomorrow. We'll see.
We'll see. For the next day. I'll be back when I'm back. No pressure on me to do anything a certain way. I will make a video when it's time for me to make a video again. I'll probably make a video tomorrow. I'll be back tomorrow. Whatever.